All right, another month, another mystery unboxing. Wow, I can't believe I'm starting this early on into the video, but basically every single time this guy starts his video, he never ever locks his door. Take a look for yourself. I don't care what anybody else says about any other of my unboxings, but this came back from my PO box. I didn't see anybody there, but it's got back from the post office for my PO box. Now, this is the smallest box I've ever got from the dark web, but... Can you guys go in the comment section, please remind this guy to start locking his door before he records these videos because it's driving me insane while editing, you know, like, something bad could happen. But anyways, if you guys are new to this channel and you guys haven't met my little guy over here, this is Stormy the Siberian Husky. What's wrong, buddy? Oh, he's not in a good mood today. If you guys want to put Storm in a better mood, go ahead and smash the like button. Guys, he loves the like button, I love the like button, you love the like button. Anyways, <laughs> let's get this video started. This one's packing quite some weight onto it. I say that in all my mystery unboxings, but they're only getting heavier as I order them. So I'm gonna do exactly what I do in all my mystery unboxings. I'm gonna show you guys the sides, show you guys the top, label over here. I'm not gonna show you guys the label because that's stupid, but if you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and subscribe to Crypto and WO. Go ahead and put on the notification bell if you haven't done so already. You'll be notified whenever I upload these videos on YouTube. Your phone will vibrate whenever I upload these videos on YouTube. All right, guys, let's get this show started. All right, so we're starting this unboxing. We got some gloves over here. <laughs> Yo, these look like some really sketchy gloves. You can see over here that the box says glass this side up. We got our handy dandy knife over here. What a horrible cut. I only can get one cut in a video, you know? I have to double cut that. All right, <clears throat> whoa. All right, so we have a couple cameras over here. We have this camera over here to show you some close-ups with my hand. And we have this camera over here to show you exactly what's inside the box. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna pull out. That's heavy, whoa. All right. The first thing we have wrapped up in paper. No, that's really, really nice. Like you actually have to put it in the light to take a really good look at it. Show you guys the close-up camera. Really interesting. This is really, really heavy. So, um, if you guys haven't watched these type of videos before, basically everything that we find with value, we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it to my left. Everything that has no value, that's gonna go in the trash, it's gonna go this way to my right, which is on, this is your left and this is your right, but no problem, we're gonna put it over here. All right, the next thing we're gonna pull out of the box, the item that was right beside it. So we pulled out this little piece, now we're gonna pull out this over here. All right. Take a look at this over here. These are some really, really, really cool, really cool artifacts. This would make a really, really good gift if you ask me, you know? I like it. No question about it. I'm taking this and I'm putting this to my left. Oh my god. <laughs> Almost broke it, but no, everything is still intact. You can see over here. So far, two really nice items. This one is not that heavy. This one's really, really heavy. All right, the next thing we're gonna pull out of the box. We have a doll over here. It's missing its right foot. Take a look at that. I'll show you over here. That's creepy. I don't like the settings that are on my camera. I'm gonna fix that really quick. I don't know if you guys notice any difference, but I think it's the monitor I'm using. I don't like it, but let's go back to the video. Taking a look at this doll over here. I mean, for me, I can't make anything out of it. It looks really like Amish, if you ask me. I don't know if this is what Amish people wear, but I mean, like, come on, take a look at that. This is a big maybe. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it to the right just in case, you know, uh, maybe 
there's some more meaning to it. It's only the third item in the box. Anyways, the next item we're gonna pull out. Huh. What are these called again? Something for your dreams, I know that. Take a look at this over here. I like it. What are they called? Dream... Dream grabbers. I think these are called dream grabbers or something. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Put it to my left. Okay, I know what you're thinking. They're not called dream grabbers, they're called dream catchers. I wanna play another game with you guys over here. How long do you think it takes this guy to realize that they're not called dream grabbers, they're called dream catchers? What an amateur. The person that comments the closest time, I guess, you know, I'll like your comment, love your comment, subscribe to you back, whatever makes you sleep at night, let's get it. Put it to my left. I'm pretty sure they're called dream grabbers. Just let me know in the comment section if you know exactly what they're called. Oh. I think this is the foot that's missing on the little Amish doll. Oh, it's missing way more. Yeah, it's the exact same. So look, take a look. Like you can see, it's the exact same shoe. Sorta. No, it's not. This is like a sock and this is like a shoe type of thing. I don't know. I'm not getting good footage of this. That's like a sock over here and uh, that's like a shoe. But yeah, that goes with the doll. The next thing we're going to pull out. We got a couple of cigars in here. Partagas Mabana. No clue. Take a look at these. There's two of them. I'll show you guys a close up with this camera over here. They're freshly wrapped. Um, I don't think I should consume these or give them to anybody to consume, but all right. Um, the next thing we're going to pull out, we have a jar over here. Take a look at that. There's something inside in the middle. I can see it like this angle right here. You can see that little pink thing. There's a couple of jars. I'll pull out the next one later. All right. That little pink thing right there. Let's go inside. Yo, that's, that's heavy. And this doesn't look like a cheap little crappy skull. Look at that. No, that's nice. I have a couple of friends that might like this, to be honest. Let's see if I can get a better shot with this. Yo, I think this is crystal. Well, I'm going to take that and I'm going to put this to my left. Yo, this is a valuable box. Look at this. We have a pink crystal, two cigars, dream grabber, this little glass thingy over here that I almost broke like three times. And this egg looking thing over here. I really like this, to be honest. I, I just want to go back to this for a moment. If anybody knows what this is, just go in the comment section down below and let me know. I like it. I really, really like it. Just checking to see if there's anything else inside here. Okay, so that's all that's inside this jar. There was another jar inside the box. Um, why did I have such a hard time deciding? They gave me such nice things and here I am thinking if I should keep a jar or not. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to take out the other jar. Same exact thing. Look, look take a look at this. Same thing. Another skull inside here. A black skull. It's going to be hard to see with my gloves on. Oh man, if I take these off, it's going to be such a pain in the butt to put back on. I'll show you guys up close again with this camera. <laughs> I need my phone flashlight for this. 
Look at that. I'm so shaky right now. I'm getting such bad vibes from this. It's not even funny. I like the pink one. This one's giving me such bad vibes. Okay. Um, try taking a look at it with this camera over here. Maybe we'll get a good shot. Same material, yeah. You know there's a conspiracy theory that me and him are two different people. Something to do with having completely different tattoos. Interesting. If you guys know what those are, then just please leave a comment down below because I'm at a loss right now. Um, I kind of want to get rid of this one here because this is giving me really, really, really bad vibes. This one here, like I, I felt really happy seeing it for some reason, but this one here is just, I don't know. I don't, I really don't know. I'm touching it just weirdens me out. All right, the next thing we're going to take out of the box. Huh, we have a little chest looking thing here. Whoa. I didn't even know what was on the box until I put it up to this camera. Whoa. This one's a little weird. Gotta pull up the cell phone for this. I need a better setup for the lighting over here. Look at me, I look so ghetto. All right, let's see what's inside. The steps to acquisition of the soul. Um, the steps to the acquisition of the soul. I'm, I'm tripping out right now. All right, um, I'm gonna have a copy up on the screen for you guys. I'll take pictures after I'm done recording, but step one, obtain the dark master's knife from the box and grab the tang handle with your left hand and the covered blade with your right hand. Unveil the sword ever so slightly to reveal the blade. What? That's weird. I'm getting such bad vibes touching that. Step one is to obtain the Dark Master's knife from the box and then grab the tang, which is the handle, with your left hand and the covered blade with your right hand. Unveil the sword ever so slightly to reveal. Step three, obtain the inkless pen. Okay, okay, I, I'm going too far into this. It's telling me stuff I haven't even pulled out of the box yet. Okay, okay, hold up. I want to show you guys close-ups of this, like better close-ups. I'm gonna go through the steps after I pull everything out of the box. I'm not trying to sell my soul or anything, but we'll see how intense it gets and we'll stop at the right time. We have one more thing inside the box, but other than this big, huge thing, this is one thing I never said about the box. I love how it's like this organized, you know? Like we can pull it out by sections. We finished all the other sections, unless I'm missing something right now. Yeah, look, we finished all of the other sections. There's this little section over here in the middle. Whoa. Whoa. 
Whoa. Okay. Um, does it seem like there's anything else inside the box? Take a look. Okay, there's stuff in there. I don't want to shake it. That, that was weird. I'm getting even the worst vibes I can possibly get from looking at this box over here. Touching this box, holding it. Is this a Dybbuk box? Should I not be opening this? Inkless pen and proceed. So I think there's an inkless pen in here because it says obtain the inkless pen. All right. A pen. I have no clue what this is. And another paper. Fold it up. Is there- it's so dark in here right now. Oh no, there's nothing else. I thought there was like ashes or something, but nah. Okay, the table's getting cluttered up. Um, the steps to the acquisition of the soul. Step one. Obtain the Dark Master's knife from the box and grab the tang, the handle, with your left hand and the covered blade with your right hand. Then unveil the sword ever so slightly. Whoa. Ever so slightly. Okay, okay. Ever so slightly to reveal the blade. Very gently, leave a on your hand, which I'm not gonna be doing. Leave a cut on your hand precisely between the thumb and forefinger, creating a diagonal line shape on that exact spot. Obtain the inkless pen and proceed to cover the tip of the pen in the soul bearer's fresh... What the hell does that even mean? The soul bearer? Is that me? Oh, it's one of those really, really old-timey pens. I don't know what these are called. I don't know what these are called, but look at that. Huh, fancy. Obtain the inkless pen and proceed to cover the tip of the pen in the soul bear's fle fresh blood. Oh, they want me to take this? Cover my... Where do I sign? No, I'm not trying to sign. No, I'm just saying, where do I sign? It's not a contract. Contract. For the accusation of a soul. <laughs> Guys. Okay, too many papers, too many papers. We'll go through the steps in just a moment. We have this last item to go through. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna read it to you guys. I, the undersigned, here forth referred as the soul bearer, do hereby relinquish all ownership, rights, privileges, and permissions of my everlasting and eternal soul, here forth referred as your soul, to the eternal prince of darkness, here forth referred to as Satan, in exchange for the items listed below, here forth referred to as the item. The regulations. 1. The item may include that of an intangible nature such as love, wealth, happiness, world peace, regional, or the death of an enemy. However, may not be anything that would deem this contract null and void, which is eternal life, immortality, existing in a time before this contract was signed. Okay, um, whoa. Basically, you can... So basically, you have to pick an item over here on the bottom. You have to write it down. It could be uh, love, it could be wealth, happiness, world peace, or the death of an enemy. However, may not be anything that would deem this contract null. So you can't wish for eternal life, which means like you can't live forever. Immortality, same thing, you can't live forever. Existing in a time before the, like you can't go back in time. You can't wish to go back in time. All right, <clears throat> number two. If the item 
is something that involves a third party's life, as would be the case in exchanging one soul for love, both parties' souls become the ownership of Satan. <laughs> if you sign this paper and you say you want to fall in love with somebody, then that person's soul is going to be in the ownership of Satan. Like, if you want somebody back or something, that person's soul is going to be a part of... Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Item will be granted in exchange for your soul within 24 hours of signing this contract. If the item is not granted in the allotted time, allotted time, exchange and this contract shall become null and void until further notice. I don't even know what further notice means, but I don't even want to know what further notice means. Um, number four, one item per soul. No refunds or renegotiations. All exchanges are final and valid for all eternity. It cannot be combined with any other offer or soul. What? <laughs> I don't have a pen. I don't have a pen. I don't want to. I'm not going to cut my blood. Is there any ink inside this pen right now? How do I test it? No, there's no ink inside this. Let's go as possibly close as we can without signing our name because we do some savage things on crypto and WO. Oh, dear God. Pencil can always be erased. The item. Love, wealth, happiness, world peace, or the death of an enemy. You see, I was gonna do world peace, but it's a regional. It's a regional thing. So do I have to say world peace and then a certain region beside it? I'm not gonna pick world peace just because I don't understand that. So um, let's write down wealth the item wealth everybody wants to win the lottery name we're not signing hold on if you rip this contract it is marked void don't waste this opportunity they're calling this an opportunity <laughs> this is weird you know i did not expect it. i just touched my nose and i'm not wearing any gloves how long wasn't i wearing gloves for why did I take off my gloves again? I think I wanted to read the contract. I think I wanted to show you guys something up close. Why did I take off my gloves? Long shower after this video. Long shower. Name. We'll put my YouTube name. Crypto and W O. I remember why I took these gloves off. They're just sticking to my hand and they're making a really weird noise on the microphone. I'm going to try finding a better one. All right, so we got these yellow gloves. Um, I'm pretty sure you've seen these before in my unboxing. Okay, so let's go through the steps again, because now this is going to make a lot more sense since we went through absolutely everything. Step one, obtain the Dark Master's knife from the box and then grab the Tang handle with your left hand and then the covered blade with your right hand and then unveil the sword ever so... <laughs> I need a band-aid. The reason why you guys can hear me so close right now, I'm wearing a lavalier microphone as well. It's clipped onto my shirt. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, just got... Jesus! My name is not Crypto NWO. That's my YouTube channel. I just got on the paper, guys. Put a band-aid on. I can't see anything. It's so freaking dark over there. Sorry about the mess, but it's so dark. I can't see anything. And I had on my finger. Okay, I accidentally just got my on this contract for the acquisition of a soul. What did I just do? That doesn't count. That's not my signature. No, that doesn't count. We, it says over here on the bottom. If you rip this contract, it is, it is marked void. Why am I still not wearing the... Oh my god. I'm ripping this contract. You think I'm trying to sell my soul? You think I'm trying to sell my soul on YouTube? It's marked void. It's marked void. I don't care what you say. I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, I had this to protect me from anything dangerous. I should have been wearing this, to be 100% honest. I potentially just sold my soul. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why am I laughing? That's not funny. Oh my god. That is not funny. So this is item number one that we got over here. Um, I really, really like this. This is item number two. I like it. I'll find somebody to resell it to. I'm not keeping it. That gives me such a bad vibe. But I'm trying to get my money back so I can buy more, buy more mystery boxes. This thing over here, I, I love this. I love this. I'm not going to resell this. I'm keeping this. We got the dream grabber over here. Dream catcher. Dream catcher. Dream catcher. Is that bad that I just hit it like three times? Sorry, when I realize things like that, I, I get a little intense. So, inkless pen that they want me to sign my soul in. I'm going to keep this only because um, I, I don't see these that often anymore. I don't know where to get them at least. Um, looks like a really modern pen, but like... It's not. <laughs> we have uh, this thing over here. I think this is where you put the ink so you could like dip this pen inside and then start writing. But in this case, he wants me to put uh, my inside here. Got a couple of cigars over here. We don't have these cigars in Canada. I've never seen them before in my life. So if you guys have seen these in your local smoke shop, let me know. Got two of those. I don't want this. I don't want this. This is this box. I don't know for my trained professionals. If you guys know what that material is just by me banging it on the table. The table is marble. So just put that in your head. What material is this? Yeah, no, I have no clue. Move this out of the way. We have crystal number one pink and crystal number two. I'll show you everything with this camera. That's all the stuff I kept, including this bad boy right here. This is the most menacing thing I've ever seen. It's just a picture of a, the horned goat. I'm almost like 100% sure this refers to Satan. So that's all the stuff that I kept. I unboxed everything out of the box and I, I still don't know what this goes with. Everything fits together perfectly in this box, except for this. This is still confusing me. I mean, if I sold my soul, does my soul go into this thing over here? Because... <laughs> Void the contract because I don't want to be inside this thing. Put me inside like a tree or or something. I don't want to be inside a doll. Like I don't. Don't lie to me and tell me you do. Everything from the mystery box right in front of me. The stuff that I am throwing away, the stuff that I'm not throwing away. I'm going to be taking a picture of everything, putting close-ups. What a weird mystery box. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and subscribe to Crypto and WO. Go ahead and put on the notification bell if you haven't done so already. You will be notified whenever I upload these videos on YouTube. Your phone will vibrate whenever I upload these videos on YouTube. Smash the like button, guys. I appreciate everyone who's liking all the videos. You guys always put a big smile on my face. I'm just going to take a look at everything. I'm going to get some pictures. And then in the next scene, I'm going to discuss everything that I got with you after taking a much deeper look into it. So let's get it. If you guys made it this far into the video, then give yourselves a nice pat on the back. I also wanted to quickly say thank you to you if you were one of the people that hit the like button. I wanted to talk about the stuff that I just received from this box. Basically, that little box with the goat and the star in the background, you know, I don't know what the symbol's called, I don't know the name, but nothing in my life has been more scary than the presence of having that box inside my house. It's still inside my house for some weird reason, but I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna give it to one of my buddies who believes in this type of stuff. He's gonna take a much deeper look into it. He's also gonna take a look at the contract that you guys saw in the video. You know, I ripped up the contract, but I do have the footage that I recorded while I was making this video so he's gonna take a look at the contract take a look at like the wording of it and as you guys saw earlier in the video I got a little bit of blood on the contract he's gonna take a look at it and he's gonna tell me if that means anything or not but um, hopefully not I'm wishing for the best I still feel very blessed I don't feel evil you know I feel like a very nice normal person I still love my little doggy over here <laughs> Just literally woke him up from his nap. He hates me right now. He's not a happy dog right now. He's still really, really upset. The poor guy just wanted to take a nap and here I am waking him up, putting him on YouTube. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, thank you guys so much. Whatever you guys just watched previously in this video, please don't try any of this stuff at home. Leave this stuff to the professionals. And remember, stay off the dark web.